Dear students, today I would like to discuss this problem which is given in the previous year. Maybe it is NEAT or maybe it is JE means almost concepts are going to be same, same models are coming because NEAT is same, the conducting agency of exam is same. So uh, you see this, this is a vessel which is going to rotate and because of this rotation, the water inside the vessel is going to rise at the sides. What is the shape of the liquid above this surface of the liquid here? It is just like this bubble shape, is it? So when this bubble is going to rotate, just imagine what will be the velocity of the particle which is present here. So the velocity of the particle at this end, if you observe, it is having maximum velocity, but the velocity which is at this end, even though this bubble is rotating, you can see that this point is going to be at rest. This point is going to be at rest. This point is having maximum velocity and the center of the point where the liquid is present here, actually this is a liquid meniscus which is going to revolve. So, by taking this example, I can explain you in an easy and shortcut method. Uh, you can just see here what I'm going to explain here. At this place, liquid is present and liquid is having certain velocity V. At this place, liquid is present. It is, let us imagine, having velocity u, which is at rest, which is at rest. As the uh, bubble is rotating, this point is always at rest, which is the center, whereas this point is going to rotate like this, having maximum velocity. I can tell you a shortcut formula. Uh, that is the kinematics formula. I can write v square minus u square is equal to 2gh, where u is taken as 0. And you all know that V is equal to R omega. You can just write R square omega square in the place of V. You can substitute this value. And you can get R square omega square is going to be 2GH. And in this way, you can find out the height, height of the vessel. And height difference of the liquid at the bottom as well at the top. You can write H is equal to R square omega square by 2G. And in the problem, if you observe, height is taken as 5 centimeters. I mean, radius is taken as 5 centimeters. You can write directly H is equal to 5, 5 is a 25. So 25 omega square by 2G. So this is going to be uh, your today's shortcut formula, which I have discussed here now. So the final step is this one. So your correct answer is going to be C. Hope you have enjoyed this shortcut. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Please subscribe to my channel, prescribe to your friends and describe the comments below for the next video in which topic I have to prepare. Thank you very much.